Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Mr. Mann. I'm the band director here at the high school and the middle school and the elementary school. And um, it's been my pleasure to, to do this project with uh, the, the, the teachers and students over at Soar Middle School up in Land Lakes. Um, just to give you some background on the project, um, it's a little bit of a long and windy story, but it, it's one of my only opportunities to name drop, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, so the project was started by this guy named John Deak. Uh, he is the principal, or the former principal bass player in the New York Philharmonic. So for those of you who don't know about the New York Philharmonic, one of the top ten orchestras in the world, in my opinion, in a lot of people's opinion. Um, so, so that's a very, very cool orchestra. And, uh, and so the people, some of the kids who do this project, when they have their stuff played, they get their stuff played by the New York Philharmonic which is a different experience than what we're going to do, but we'll play very well. Um, and so he was walking through an elementary school, and he was looking around, and he saw lots of really great art on the walls. And he said, where is, where is the kids' music? You know, the, the kids can make great art. No one had to tell them, oh, if you had to do this, you know, they gave them a crayon box, and they went to town and made cool stuff. Where is the children's music, the music that they make? Um, and it's hard to find. There's not a lot of cases of kids composing. Um, in, our, in our culture. And so he set up to make this project, the Very Young Composers Project. Um, one of the issues that comes across is we all have musical ideas. Um, everybody does, especially kids. But how do they communicate it with people to play it then for them? You know? so, so what we do, and the, the people on stage, we're all teaching artists, so we're all scribing down the music that these students write. And we kind of act like the crayon box. You know, which we, we listen to what they say, and we put it down, and then we try to play it the best we can. And so that's what this process looks like. Um, just so happens that John Deak, um, his best, one of his best friends, his name is Robert Rosen, and he taught percussion at UW Stevens Point. And that's where I got into the project. They did this project in Stevens Point. And, uh, and so I was part of that project in the, the, the Very Young Composers of Central Wisconsin. And then I asked them, I think it's a great project, can I start another version of it up here in uh, northern Wisconsin? And they said, go ahead, do it. And so we've been doing it, this is the fourth year that we've been doing this up here. Um, so it's very, very exciting to be part of this project and, and doing it up here. There is only, to my knowledge, um, four places in the United States where a project called Very Young Composers happens. Okay? So New York City, Vail, Colorado, Stevens Point, Eagle River, Wisconsin, or Land Lakes, Wisconsin. So we were part of something very special here. All right, there are some other places in the world that do it, um, but uh, but it's very cool that this project is here for us to do. So um, just a word about the composers. We have a very special opportunity to premiere about 20 pieces of music here. So that's a world premiere. So that's exciting. We get to meet each of the composers. Some of you even know them already. Kudos to you. And uh, and so each of these pieces, I think, is kind of like a little picture about a little portrait, a self-portrait about how they feel about something or or about themselves. And so their character really comes through on these. So without ado, let's go ahead and start off with our first composition. The inspiration for writing this piece came from me always wanting to go to an island, but never got to. I think arriving to an island would sound like this because it sounds like an island song. I would like to thank Mrs. Walters for helping me get my ideas down on a bunch of paper. I hope you enjoy my music.
Molly, and the piece I wrote is called A Nighttime Tune. The inspiration for writing this piece came from how parents tell their kids bedtime stories every night. I would like to thank Mrs. Yeager for helping me get my ideas down onto paper. I hope you enjoy my music.
meditated, and the piece I wrote is called The Wild House. The inspiration for my writing piece came from my house because it is wild, but it is not always just wild and crazy, but it is also loving. I would like to thank Mrs. Strong um, for helping me get my ideas down on paper. I hope you enjoy my music.
My name is Jericho, and this piece I wrote is called Gentle Fall in Guatemala. The inspiration for this writing piece came from like messing around on the keyboard. I would like to thank Mr. Plank for helping me get my ideas on, onto paper. I hope you enjoy my music. Hello, my name is Chris Hunt, and the piece that I wrote is called Terrible Times. My inspiration for this piece was from one of my favorite book series, the series of course of events. I would like to make thank Mrs. Strong for helping take my ideas and put them on the paper. I hope you enjoy my music. Hello, my name is Grace Endermill, and I wrote this piece, or a piece called Something Kind of Playful. I got the idea because when me and Miss Yager were coming up with names, I said I wanted it to be something kind of playful, and that's what we, she wrote down. And the more that I thought about it, the more that I liked the title. Uh, and I'd like to thank Miss Yager for helping me compose my art or music. I hope you enjoy something kind of playful.
is called Rise, and the reason that I decided to call it Rise is because I started off on the piano and the flute, and it just starts adding in a bunch of other instruments. So, and I would like to thank Mrs. Yeager for helping me compose my music. I hope you enjoy my song. is the fair folk. The fair folk are a race of tiny people commonly known as fairies and pixies. It depicts the balance of good and evil. With the thrumming of the bass and the light tittering of the flute, it's based off of a chase.
If she would not have helped me, I would never have come up with my name, the name of this book. I would like to thank Mr. Plank for helping me get my ideas to Anne Schubert. I hope you enjoyed the music. <coughs> My name is Aiden Leonard. My piece I wrote is called The Fly. I named it The Fly because I was thinking of flies and how I made it is when I, I was messing around with the keyboard keys. I'd like to thank Mr. Mann for putting, helping me putting my piece on paper. Hello, my name is Owen Grassel, and the piece I wrote is called Happy. The inspiration for writing this piece came from Mr. Man. He had helped me more than I thought he could. The way I came up with the name for this song was the song made me happy and I and I decided to name it Happy. I would like to thank Mr. Mann for helping me get my ideas down onto paper. I hope you enjoy my music.
inspiration for the piece is really nothing. I just was playing with the keyboard and came up with beats and rhythms. I came up with my name because the song is started slow. I hope you I would like to thank Mrs. Strong for helping me get my ideas down on the paper. I hope you enjoy my video. As I understand it, Ahmed is ill today, um, so only met with her three times for half an hour. Um, that's how much time we got with each student, and so hard to make generalizations about what she was thinking about that amount of time, but um, I got the idea that she was a lady of few words. You know, she didn't have a, a whole lot to say, but what she did have to say was about this piece of darker is better. So. Hope you enjoy R.I.P. by now. and that song is called The Parade. Um, the inspiration of the song was an actual parade and I like the beat of it so I tried to create my own. It's always best to have music have the last word, in my opinion, in a concert. So, um, before we play the last tune, we have my last word. 
So, um, we have some very, very special people um, up at SOAR um, and also on stage. Um, so I just wanted to make sure to say thank you to everybody up at SOAR who lets us come up and take these students' time. I think it's a very valuable project, but nevertheless, everything they're doing up there is valuable. And so it's important um, for you to know that, that they took some of their time and gave it for this project and felt like it was important. Similarly, um, on stage, um, there are several individuals, really, 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 really talented musicians in our area who feel like this project is, is important. Um, and, and not only thought it was important enough to donate the time, but also gas and whatever else they might have been doing instead. So, um, and they're playing really, really well. I, I don't know, I think we go up against the New York Fell, maybe. So let's go ahead, let's have these guys stand up, let's get the uh, uh, musicians on stage a round of applause. Okay, it was, it was I'm, I'm speaking for everybody, and I don't know this for sure, but um, it, it's been an honor and a privilege to work with you uh, students and composers and to play your music. So thank you for this opportunity to play such cool music. All right, let's finish up, girls. And one last round of applause for all the young composers. Ladies. All right, good night, everybody. Stay warm.